Okay, the next route I want to talk about is the four route, also known as the hook route or the curl route. Okay, the four route is approximately 10 yards, so you're working up the field, and it's an inside route. And um, so we'll go ahead and start uh, talking about it right here. We'll start with the outside receiver, <coughs> just an X. He's going to run this uh, pushing hard upfield against soft coverage. When you get to 11 yards, he's going to work back to the quarterback, wherever the quarterback is. So the key thing here is he wants to work back to the quarterback. Don't just turn and stop. You want to work back in windows. Underneath coverage, depending on where it is, you want to work back to the quarterback right there. When you get to the top of your stem, the, the fewer steps you can get in order to change your uh, route, the better. Again, at the top of the stem, you don't want to be dropping your hands, throwing your hands out, throwing your head back. You want shoulders over your knees the whole time, arms working. Get the outside foot planted here, right here be your right foot. So at some point, you're going to get your outside foot planted, and then your eyes turn back inside here, moving back to the quarterback. That's the hook route or the curl route, also known as the four route. <clears throat> um, you're not curling back inside, so you're not, you're not running up the field here and curling back in there. It is a very straight and very um, precise uh, back to the quarterback, looking for the windows. Okay, now... If you get uh, like a rolled up corner and a half safety, all right, you'll know this. You want to push at that corner, make him think you're going wide, try to widen him. Get inside, you still want to re-stem it up to 11 yards and then back to the quarterback. Okay? If you're getting some kind of pressed coverage, you're getting a type of pressed coverage, <clears throat> stick, make him honor the inside. Work up the field. He's going to be covering you up the field. Once you get to 11 yards, you push him past you. Okay. So you take your left hand. At this, in this case, you run up to you take your left hand, put it on his hip, push him past you, and he's going to keep running up field. And now you come right back here to the quarterback. That's called a push past technique. Okay. All right. Um, that's the four route. That's the curl. It's medium depth. It's a five-step protection, and generally a 10-yard area, but we say start it at 11 yards. Plant the outside foot. The other thing is you want to make sure you don't trick the quarterback. Once you get here and you plant that outside foot, you've got to come back. You don't want to start drifting off to the middle, then the quarterback's going to throw it at your back shoulder. You've got to make sure that when you make that outside foot plant, it's, it's very decisive because the quarterback's going to be throwing you the ball on that inside hand right there. Okay, that's the hook. That's the curl. Oh, let's talk about the inside receiver. <clears throat> so if you're the inside receiver, it's the same route. You're still working up to 11 back to the quarterback, but you're going to get collision. Most of the time, you're going to find there's going to be somebody here to collision you, a safety, a backer, Okay, and you want to push at his technique. Right? And if he keeps on the inside, you work on up to 11, he's going to either come with you or he's going to zone off. At 11, you work back to the quarterback. Okay? Don't let him come between you and the quarterback. Find a way to. You may come back. The quarterback may throw it a little to your outside depending on the other underneath coverage. Okay? If it's a nickel or something like that, you're just playing man-to-man -man coverage on you, you make him define the inside, get him running upfield, push him past you, come right back to the quarterback. Okay, that's how we play. Uh, that's how we play all that. That's how we finish those routes, and that's the four route.